traders welcome to my live trading room this is where I trade systems such as day trading swing trading and the four horsemen I have here the new site where you can connect your MT4 to my MT4 receive all the trades that I make even when your MT4 is not on it connects the brokers uh, so I want to uh, take you on over here to where you can sign up just click on the manage tab over here and then you'll be able to sign up um, by clicking this uh, link right here. Also, I have a couple of uh, affiliate brokers right here as well that you can use. You can use any broker as long as they follow these guidelines right up over here. Uh, and uh, so I want to take you real quick into our stats here. This is my day trading stats. So this is everything that I trade here live with you folks. I started off with um, a, a blank sheet with the new account. Um, I do trade here with you folks live, so I don't don't um, all these stats here. Here, let me go ahead and uh, minimize the screen here. Okay, so that's better. Um, and also my main account, which um, is the master account, it's a micro account, and all the other. So basically, what it is is um, it's the smallest account that I have, and it's all psychological reasons. I, I like to trade with small size, and then what I do is I allocate out all my other accounts, uh, and I connect it using the trade copier. So um, you can do the same thing too. You can have a $20,000 account, hook it up to the trade copier, and then it will um, trade it via risk multiplier. So um, according to the, to the account balance, it will, it will adjust according to that. Uh, but that's just how I like to trade. I like to trade with a small account and then have uh, my main accounts being traded off of the um, trade copier, uh, which are my larger accounts. So um, here is my day trade stats and also the swing trade stats sitting in quite a bit of a drawdown right now. I'll hear all this red right here is uh, this this drawdown that we're going through at the moment. And uh, the swing trade or the uh, the uh, four horsemen is going through a little bit of drawdown right now. Now, most of this in here is um, due to the USD CAD and I've cut it out. So we're, um, I'm not going to be using the USD CAD. We're going to start climbing back from this uh, drawdown right here that we're having. Um, but if you folks are interested in how I trade, let's go. Today is Sunday, Sunday the 10th of January 2021. It's about 24 minutes away from market open. Um, we're just gonna go through our pre-market observations here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it on over to my, let's bring it on over to my four horsemen. All right, here we go. We have everything all set up right now. Um, okay, so let's take a quick look here at what we got. Um, ooh, let me fix these charts here. All right. Australian's been on a tear. Okay, anyways. Um, let me pull up my... So we are going to be opening up near the M2 for the EuroCAD. Um, we're going to be opening up near the uh, M3 for the Australian Yen. I, I'm not trading the CAD. The USD CAD and the Euro Yen is, it looks like it's really close to the uh, central pivot. This is the uh, price central pivot. Of course, we can have gaps, so I'm going to be fully aware of that. Um, so, it looks like the Australian Yen is going to be uh, pretty close to my entry and then uh, Euro CAD. So, a couple, couple of them to watch out for right away. And let's go ahead and take it on over to the swing trading charts. So, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to go right down the list here um, I do have a couple day trades right now in the pound US dollar um, we are going to be opening up right at the M2 uh, so possible swing long on that uh, and the Australian US dollar we are sitting in between the central pivot and the M3 the euro USD we're going to be opening up really close to the M2 uh, the Euro Yen is going to be in between uh, Central Pivot and M3. Uh, the CAD Yen I don't trade as far as the swing trading goes. The Australian Yen is going to be opening up right at the M3. And the uh, Pound Yen is going to be opening up right at the M3. Now, uh, keep this, keep an eye on this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a cheat sheet. So my other, my, my, uh, 
client's account closes an hour after my main account does. So I'm gonna flip in between the two right now and we're gonna take a look and see if there was much price moving. And usually that's where the gaps form. This is the one that out closed an hour later this is the main account. So I don't see any, I don't see any, I'm looking at every single one individually right now. I don't think there's going to be any major gaps unless there was anything that happened over the weekend. Now we did get, okay, back to the main account. Um, we did get uh, some information that um, there's going to be, there's talks right now of a bigger stimulus or, or a bigger um, three, two to three trillion dollar bailout package or whatever you want to call it. Um, so that right there is telling me that the more that we're getting the stock ramping up, the more um, inflation worries in the market is going to be. And then that's going to drive down um, the price of the dollar. And that's going to drive up all my dollar pairs and yen pairs. So um, the, uh, the pound US dollar, the Australian US dollar, the Euro US dollar um, should respond to it. Uh, the more likely that we are to getting a large multi-trillion dollar package. Um, and then of course all my yens as well. Um, I'm not trading the UST CAD. So what I actually want to do is uh, since we're watching Bitcoin so much, let's find my Bitcoin. There it is right here. Let's go ahead and change this. All right, there we go. That's my uh, swing trading. So that's weekly and daily um, swing. Uh, that's my weekly and monthly pivots right there uh, with Bitcoin. I'm go ahead and save that down. In fact, you know what? Let me back up. Uh, I am going to go ahead and keep the cat in here because I do want to keep an eye on it and uh, see if it's starting to perform better. So, here's my USD CAD. I do have Bitcoin on my day trading. USD. All right, yeah, so I, there's my cat back. I am going to keep an eye on it just because I do want to um, see when it's starting to uh, respect the pivots again, once again. But I do have Bitcoin over here on my day trading. And I do have Bitcoin over here on the dark charts. Okay, and keep an eye on this right here right, real quick because I want to show you something. Uh, my other broker, uh, which is my client's account, um, it has Bitcoin that trades. Let me go over to it on the weekends. So let's see, day trading risk on. Here we go. So even though markets are closed right now, you can see here that it's being traded. Look right in here. So um, under Hugo's way in the links below, uh, if you're interested in trading it with this platform, you can trade it on the weekends. And you can see here, this is my Saturday pivot, and this is my Sunday pivot right here. And then uh, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. This is my Sunday and my Saturday over here as well for last week. So it is, uh, you can trade it on the weekends. And I did not know that, kind of stumbled upon that. Okay, so let's go back to um, let's go back to my swing trading because we're only about 14 minutes away now. I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. So it's going to be just a couple seconds for you until the market opens. All right, we're sitting about uh, 20 seconds out. Ten seconds. Five. Three. One. And mark it open. 
Okay, so I, so far I don't have anything here. All right, just give it a second. Okay, I'm gonna move back on over. All right, so uh, I don't have anything on the Aussie US dollar. I do have the Euro. Go ahead and zoom out of that one. I don't have anything on the yen. Uh, Aussie yen is pretty close. Nothing on the pound yen. Uh, nothing on the Aussie dollar. All right, excellent. So the other, the only one is the CAD yen. I'm gonna give that one a couple minutes and move right back on. Oh, sorry, not the CAD yen, the Aussie yen. All right, I just want to make sure here on my client's count that I did have the uh, trade trigger for the euro, and it did. Okay. Okay, I have a shot here on the EuroCAD. And I placed a pending order right now on the Australian Yen. So what I do need to do now is place my alert here at 15561. And uh, I need to place my alert here at 81.553. Okay, I'm going to be coming back to the Euro Yen. Um, let's go ahead and place my stop loss right now. Oh, what am I doing? Five, four, five, eight, eight. One thing that I need to do here is uh, go back over to my day trades and then uh, my two day trades, I need to move my tick profit possibly. Um, let's see here, I had one on the Aussie. All right. And I had one also on the pound. So let's go over to, let's go over to the um, Aussie US dollar. Looks like we do have a smaller than usual, so I'm going to take it at the M5. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to the pound US dollar. It 
is slightly smaller, but so was the day before. Take it up to the M5. Okay. Let's go back on over to swing trade full pivots because I know that I'm waiting for the Aussie. Yen, that's the only one remaining. Here on the Four Horsemen, I went ahead and placed my penning order um, for the Euro with the uh, alerts to let me know if we're going that direction. And I do have my live order right now in the EuroCAD and my pending order right now for the Australian Yen with my alert at the central pivot. And I'm not trading the, the uh, USD CAD. Time is 3.13 p.m. So we're 13 minutes into the new week in the new session. I'm going to pause it here until I have something new. Let's go ahead and place the uh, stop loss right now for the uh, Euro US dollar. And we'll take our target. Actually, I want to take this over to, to the uh, Euro US dollar. Let's take a look at the long term. Okay, yeah, that's that's perfect. Okay, just checking. Okay, so this is going to be order number 4695. All right, so as we wait uh, for in the uh, Aussie yen, I'm going to take you on over here to the uh, day trade and I want to take a look at Bitcoin. Okay. Yeah, Bitcoin had a, a little bit of a sell off, but um, and here's Ethereum as well. You can see it bouncing between the support and resistance levels. Let's take a look at uh, Bitcoin on the client's account that traded over the weekend. Let's see here. There we go. This, yeah, nice little rebound so far. All right, let's take you back on over to swing trading. Okay, I'm taking the Aussie, it's good enough for me. And uh, let's go ahead and find a home for the stop. And let's find a home for the take profit as well. Okay, once the spread um, narrows down, I'll be able to uh, see how far, um, with given, given the uh, correct spread. Hey, actually, you know, I have it written right here uh, on my day, day trading. So let's go on over to that day trading how big is the spread usually 2.4 pips okay let's go back to my swing trade okay so we're looking for at least a double let's go for five pips up right in there that should be about five pips up yep okay perfect okay so I got done with that and uh, let's see what what's the order number it's uh, 5311 make sure that I picked up on my um, clients account yep there it is okay perfect swing trade alert all right it's getting a uh, swing trade alert here let's go back on over to my swing, swing trade, charts. trade alert Swing trade alert. Swing trade alert. Swing trade alert. All right, getting some price movement here. I'm going to go ahead and move down my stop to just above Swing these highs. Swing trade alert. 
Swing trade alert. Okay, and uh, I actually got knocked out of my two day trades from the other day. And uh, let's go ahead and pull up that up. I did. All right, a couple of nasty losses on day trade. So the uh, the pound is three one two zero. And then this one is my Aussie US dollar. Number uh, 2146. This is the nasty one. Never had a chance to move my stop to uh, protect some, to reduce risk. That definitely throws us into a drawdown for sure on the day trade. Okay. It's uh, 459. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, anything on the four horsemen. Um, so I'm not getting uh, anything on the Australian yen. I am in profit though on the uh, swing trade and uh, still sitting at central pivot for the euro yen uh, and yeah, near break even right now for the euro cad okay good morning it is 1 37 a.m and uh just taking a quick look here at everything um let's see my euro cad just gave me an alert and it's not quite there yet but uh, I do want to see this come above the uh, central pivot to be able to move my stop. There's my central pivot right there. So we're there right now. Uh, and it's looking like it wants to peek its head above. Now, take a look here at my Aussie. We did peek below the uh, central pivot. I didn't get the alert because it wasn't, uh, it didn't go through far enough for me. To, to move my or to remove my entry so um, I'm actually going to keep it there and uh, nothing yet for the euro yen we're still hanging out at central pivot uh, we don't trade the CAD I want to see something here if this was going to be a win or a loss or I mean a loss or, or a hold so with the spread take a look here I think this would have been a stop out it came all the way up to here and uh, this is uh, 3.5 pips away from the stop spread is currently okay it would have been a stop out all right so that's good that we didn't take it all right so um, I'm gonna switch back on over right now to my day trading and uh, let's go back to the full pivots here 
We did take out some... Oh, no, that's my swing trade. Yeah, let's take a look at swing trade real quick. I'm in profit right now on the uh, Australian uh, Japanese yen. And I'm sitting in a little bit of drawdown at the moment for the uh, Euro USD. Uh, it is slightly a hedge. One's a, one's a um, long a, year, a USD pair and one's a short a uh, Australian yen pair. But that's just the way it's set up. And let's take it on over to the day trade full pivots. You can see I already marked out my boxes for the day. And let's pull out my nifty little pen. Oh, let's get rid of these guys, these setups from last week. Oops. Okay, let's go ahead and um, take a look at what we're what we're going to be eyeing up here. This is my M2 for the pound yen we're way below my m2 on the dollar portion S got it support so far on the australian yen at central pivot getting support so far at the m2 for the australian yen or australian dollar so the australian yen hit the central pivot australian dollar hit the m2 we haven't even hit the uh, central pivot yet for the CAD yen. Bitcoin took a, took a massive dive and hit the M2. <laughs> Can you believe that? A massive dive and just came down to the M2. Okay, so um, Euro yen is sitting at central pivot for the, yep, for the yen portion and then below the M2 for the dollar. So let's go ahead and mark out with our ellipses. I'm going to pause it while I do that. Okay, so here we go. Here's our current trade setups right now. Um, I don't trade the uh, Bitcoin, but we're uh, going to be watching it how, it, how it respects the pivots. And uh, I want to show you here something as well. This is... Uh, this is Bitcoin daily chart right here. And uh, this is my 21 moving average. You can see here the wicks are just skirting that 21. And going into Ethereum, same thing. I have the wicks just skirting the 21 moving average on the daily chart. So that's the important thing to watch. Checking out the boxes. So we did break through our support box, came down to the previous uh, resistance turn support. So we'll see if we just kind of bang around these boxes or if we move back through through the upper box. All right, let's go ahead and switch this back on over to my dark charts. All right, so 2.56 a.m., just taking an uh, alert here on my Euro Yen. And uh, let me go ahead and get rid of this alert. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna delete my entry order here and I'm going to move this alert down to my central pivot which is with spread we'll mark it uh, 126856 Uh, taking a further look here at um, the EuroCAD, so I couldn't move my my stop because we haven't breached the central pivot. This long wick right here at central pivot is quite bearish, uh, but I just don't have the authority right now to move my stop because it has not 
breached the central pivot. So now we are uh, looking at the possibility of maybe making like a like a head and shoulders here. Okay, so that's what we have uh, remaining, or maybe even possible double bottom if we are going to hold that as support. If not, then uh, you know we we'll have to take the stop on that. Okay, so the uh, Australian yen is still holding out our central pivot. Let's go ahead and move on over. And uh, looks like the Euro USD is about to stop us out on our swing trade. We'll keep you updated. It's uh, 3.09 a.m. And I just got the alert uh, my swing trade hit the stop. So not shaping up to be a very good week so far. Yeah, took a few stops so far this week. Uh, this is going to be order 4695. bit of a rebound on Bitcoin so far coming up to resistance but uh, yeah we're, we're getting we're seeing the sell off for sure take a look at uh, swing tree or the uh, yeah, swing trading charts and see what's going on here okay so maybe the monthlies are in play right now these are my uh, monthly the big thick lines are the monthlies so we're coming down to a central pivot. Long ways to go for central pivot here. We, uh, well, that's the CAD. Never mind. Um, long ways to go for central pivot on the Aussie US dollar still. Central pivot and coming down to the M2 on the pound dollar. Uh, already hit central pivot last week on the pound yen bounce on the central pivot for the Australian yen hit the M2 for uh, the CAD yen and uh, central pivot here for the uh, euro yen so yeah this is uh, the quite the sell-off um, that I had envisioned for last week um, and to last week uh, never happened, so it looks like we're about a week behind on that sell-off. Our pivot points? Okay, it's uh, 6.33 a.m., so it is uh, 33 minutes into the New York session. I did get an alert here for my EuroCAD. Okay, I'm going to dismiss that. Um so what this is telling me is that we need to reduce risk and move up our stop and uh, at this point i do need to place my take profit levels Okay, so in the process of doing that, I actually had an alert here on the um, Australian yen. So uh, we are dropping below central pivot. I do have to remove my pending order on that. Okay, let's go ahead and go back over to the day trading. Okay. All right, everything is heading down. Sitting in a little bit of profit right now on my only trade is my swing trade for the Australian yen yen in fact i want to take a look at well I look at bitcoin take a dump okay i want to take a look at this now more in depth australian yen okay okay yeah, so uh, this is uh, a totally legit target. So that's where I'm going to keep it. Totally legit target. So my hope is 
my hope is we're so we're here now we entered here we're here now and my targets here my hope is that we get near the target uh, we come down and we get near the target um, towards the end of the week but don't actually hit it because that I want to I want to have a uh, lower target next week I want to have a lower target next week to hit possibly even miss that one and have an even lower target the, the next week maybe have a few weeks of weakness before we start heading back up that's a swing trade Yeah, Bitcoin's really starting to uh, starting to uh, have its correction, and it's the dollar it's a, it's the dollar strength that's causing it. Ten thirty eight AM Taking a look here at the markets. A little bit of a bounce back for the dollar. Bitcoin bounce back, yeah, all dollar bounce backs. You can see a little bit of it here also on the yen. All right, so it's uh, twelve sixteen. Just kind of uh, waiting patiently here, seeing what type of setups that we have. Uh, this is my day trading chart. Just going to go ahead and start marking them out right now. Alrighty, here we have the bounce on the M two. Here we go. Need to just adjust it. Bounce on the uh, central pivot for Australian yen. Ooh, beautiful bounce right here on the uh, M two. Is uh, setting up all for looks like tomorrow which is coming here in a couple of hours because we trade tomorrow today uh, right so I had the bounce on the M2 for the euro yen uh, below the I'm below here which is the uh, M2 and uh, wow look at Bitcoin just mm, if it needs to find a bottom huh that's uh, that's the first sell-off this cycle the first real sell-off um, I'm expecting maybe two more, like 40 percenters, like 30, 35 to 40 percenters. All right, so getting back into it. Here we go. Here's a head fake right here. This is right at the M2. All right, this is for the Australian U.S. dollar. And still below the uh, M2 here for the uh, pound U.S. dollar. Okay. So uh, nothing, you know, th this is just possible setup. So this isn't saying that we're going to absolute. But um, yeah, so it's going to be all eyes on tomorrow's London session. So uh, I, we still have some time until New York close to see exactly where we finish. But uh, I'm going to go ahead. And s so we have all the yens and the Australian US dollar. Go ahead and switch it back on over to the uh, dark charts here. So all the yens in the Australian US dollar, bring it on over and take a look here. Still, uh, yeah, almost took profit, just came a little bit short. I don't know if you can see my take profit line, came uh, within like a couple pips, like a pip maybe. Um, yeah, so the bears came in exactly where they're supposed to. The bulls came in exactly where they're supposed to. Now we're somewhere in the middle um, for the Euro CAD. Um, I'm not in on the Australian yen. It has, um, invalidated itself and here shortly at the end of the new york i may have an invalidation on the euro yen so the only one that i am in on is um probably just going to be the cad the euro cad not the usd cad okay here we go taking a quick break of my dark game to uh check the uh, 245 p.m market conditions so we're about 15 minutes away from the New York close. Uh, this is the time that I close any remaining pending orders in my uh, four horsemen. So that is a removal of the Euro Yen. And the only thing I have left is the uh, the active order with the Euro CAD that's at basically break even right now. Let's take a look here. 
take a look here. Actually, I want to get take this into my full pivot charts. And uh, I'm not going to, at this point, at this point, I just don't have any trade setups because all my boxes are down. So, like I said before, all eyes are going to be on London. So this is a down box right here. This is a down box right here. This is a down box. Down box. Even though I do have the possible trade setups over here, we're having down boxes. This is a possible trade setup right here. Now, oh, no, no, no. This is the S level. So, no, 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 no. This is a possible trade setup here. We are starting to breach down below. Uh, this is a big down box. So, yeah, we're way below the M2. Um, so, yeah, I don't have uh, any trade setups at the end of this New York session. Um, but new, the uh, London session um, may have something. This may be like a consolidation to, to break out during the London. That's yet to be seen. So at that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and immediately start a new video. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, we haven't uh, had the greatest week, but uh, hopefully we're going to start to improve that. We'll see you then.